two informed promotion chasing teams come together at Bramall Lane as Sheffield United host Aston Villa. After a poor December run, the new year has brought renewed form back to the Blades as Chris Wilder's men have now won three of their last four in all competitions. Villa, meanwhile, have been in electric form as they go in search of a fifth straight league victory. Something has to give tonight. Sheffield United are winless in eight league games against Aston Villa, drawing three of those since a 2-0 win in the top flight back in December 1991. But they're on the front foot here. Here's Clark. Too many options in the centre, but it will be a, a corner kick. Bjarnason, the man to get back for Villa. I have to say, Bramall Lane is rocking right now. They know the importance of this fixture. In swinging cross towards the far post, and it's off the underside of the bar. Well, how did that stay out? And Aston Villa survive. And they can maybe even rub salt into the wound as they look to counter, but that's a good tackle. It was O'Connell with the effort. Plenty of pace on the ball. He must have thought he'd scored so close when he headed it. Inside the six-yard box, Johnston decided to stay on his line and got away with that decision. Grealish. That's the ball, though. Sheffield United have started on the front foot here. Here's Leon Clark. Moves it onto his right foot, deflected, and Johnston with those long levers able to grasp the ball. He's heading into the top corner. Basham. Goes for the cross field pass. And and Huffman just about gets there. Aston Villa, though, struggling to really get their foot on the ball. And they do now. Hogan as well just to hold the ball up. Bring other men into play, one of them being Grealish. Back forward towards Adoma. And will be a corner kick. of Terry and Chester forward from the back. Hutton also there too for Aston Villa. It's towards Terry. Half-hearted appeals for a penalty, but they've been waved away and Sheffield United can break. Ball towards Leon Clark. It's going to reach him too. Here is Clark. In fact, it wasn't Clark who hit the shot. Either way, it was Johnston who made the save. And it remains nil-nil. Certainly been the busier of the two goalkeepers so far. It was Hurahane who felt he was fouled. Sheffield United broke in numbers. towards Clark Oops, it, towards the area shot is deflected you just feel those sort of moments ball can ricochet anywhere ball hung up towards Clark once again and it's an acrobatic effort that's only just wide and what a goal that would have been it was Wilson with it the former Manchester United man not too far away had to improvise didn't he Johnston was rooted to the spot. Again, Clark being a real nuisance. He say he did pretty well to adapt to the situation there. It's well won back. And Sheffield United looking to break at pace, but it's all a little sloppy. Grealish able to win the ball back himself. He's got a domer to his left to his right, chooses to go to a Doma. Yarnison just about got something on it. Dropping it to Chester. And in turn helps it to El Mohamedi. Hurahane. 
Janssen. Here's Hutton. They're just beginning to grow into this game as Hutton tries to maybe catch more by surprise. Haven't seen all that much of the ball, the visiting team, but that one was probably creeping in. Hutton again. Adoma. Nice little drop of the shoulder. He's looking towards Snodgrass. Here Raheem will look to try and keep this one in. Does so. But he's given the ball away. And again, Sheffield United can break here. Wilson, has he just overran it? There he has. Looking for support. So it was a good challenge, really, from Bjarnason. Grealish, space to move into for Grealish, trying to curl one into the bottom corner. And he wasn't all that far away. See exactly what he was trying to do. Just didn't quite get enough bend on it. About half a foot wide, closest that Aston Villa have come to a goal. Swinger. It was Hutton who won the header in the end. This hit shot actually works out pretty well for Sheffield United. Well, they have to be careful of losing the ball here, but instead they've worked it really well. And it needed the save from Johnston. Oohs and ahs from both the goalkeeper and from the crowd. Played into his path beautifully, could hit it in stride. A decent hit from Baldock. And they work it wide. And fans encouraging the Blades to go forward once again. Hill, whoever scores the first goal. He's going to be in such a good position for this game. It's been the type of game you just can't take your eyes off. Again, there's players in the area here for Sheffield United. More arriving too. Can they get it in the area? That's the question. Just about worked the situation pretty well here. Instead, they work it to the edge of the area, and once again, Johnston's able to make the save. And he's the man of the match so far, isn't he? It's a save you'd expect him to make with where the shot came from. But he must have been unsighted until right at the last second. He was able to get something on it. It's a really good save. in field, tries to curl one and does and Robert Snodgrass has won it in the last minute surely for Aston Villa and their brilliant run is set to continue somewhat against the run of play but you just wonder how significant that goal could be when push comes to shove in the promotion race he was allowed to cut infield and what a finish from the former Hull City man It's a goal worthy of winning this type of a game. It's Sheffield United who've had the best of the chances, but one moment of sheer quality from Robert Snodgrass looks like it secured the three points for Aston Villa. Now or never for the Blades. I have to feel a little sorry for them with the scoreline, but Johnson's been brilliant. Ball ricochets around, it will be a corner kick. And Moore's up from the back, it's towards Moore, it's headed towards goal, and again, it's that man, Johnston. This time to deny O'Connell. Twice now, he's come so close. 
Everyone forward once again towards the far post this time. Headed back across goal. There's to shoot, but has that ball been given away? And there is the full-time whistle. It's a huge, huge win for Steve Bruce's men. Perhaps somewhat against the run of play. It's a bit of a smash and grab job from the villains. It's Robert Snodgrass who's the hero. His 90th minute winner gives the three points to Aston Villa. And just how significant could those three points be come the end of the season? It's finished here at Bramall Lane. Sheffield United nil, Aston Villa won.